Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Patch Notes. And if I really feel like doing it after it, then Jurassic World Alive. But, um, Bella, relax. Give me, give me a second, guys. What'd I say? I said relax, right? Relax, please. None of this. No. Dude, it's, 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 a literally, it's literally a cube of salted butter. What the fuck are you trying to get it from me for? You weirdo. It's salted butter. Move. I'm using it to cook. Yes, people, I, I cook. I live by my damn self. You're damn right I know how to cook. All right, so while I salt up this pan, I'm going to make some rice. Baiting if I want to. Baiting if I want to do a um, sweet potato or not. I got to get some corned beef when I, tomorrow when I get paid. All right, well guys, welcome to 3.0. I thought it was gonna be 2.24, no, 3.0. So, we're now getting, we're now into the threes, which is, is okay, great, nice. So, this is the Omega update, guys. We're, we're gonna get into everything that, that that comes with that, which is great, I'm not gonna lie, I, did, I had a peek, guys. I'm, 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 pretty, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Just because of the new creatures. It's for, for, for like, what do you call it? For like that ground, for like a big update, like, you know, moving on to the next number type thing. It's okay. Like, you know, it's not, it was not like the 2.0, which, you know, was like revolutionary to the entire game. And, you know, like ch it changed the entire game like 2.0 did. 2.0 was insane. It, like literally changed the entire game around, like the entire game, that way you played it and everything. Love from boosts from all that guys so let's see so um, omega creatures that's um it's uh, I, get, I don't know what the hell you want to call it for a rarity but um the omega creatures are a whole new type of creatures stalking your Jurassic world so unlike any other creature in Jurassic in Jurassic world Omegas are trainable creatures that can increase their potential from simple starting creatures to amongst the most powerful in the game. Ooh. I like how that sounds. It sounds really, really cool. So, collect the Omegas on the map at any, pl at any player level. Not just, not like Apexes where you have to be at a certain level. Any player level. And evolve them using coins of DNA, just like all other creatures. As you evolve your creature, you will unlock the capacity to earn new abilities. Ooh. So, give me a second. Let me just pour this into the pan. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm tell you wh why I'm a li little um, iffy about this update, guys. And once I explain my reasoning, you'll know exactly why I say it like that. From, from a business standpoint, I can't bash Ludia, man. They're, they're doing what any business should be doing. From a player standpoint, I want to tell Ludia, fuck you, pretty much. Because this right here is literally just another cash grabbing. It's, it's literally like cash grab. People are going to want to unlock those abilities really fast, so they're going to be overloading incubators in the market and the people who have the opportunity to buy out those incubators are going to buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them, buy them and they're going to leave everybody else in the dust. Unless, of course, you're a beta tester like IDGG, which I wish I was. Omega creatures such as common, rare, or epic don't have a rarity. Because Omega creatures don't have a rarity, they are rarity restriction exempt. Which means if it's just like a common only tournament or a um or what's the name? Or a um what do you call it? A unique only tournament, any type of tournament, you can you're gonna be able to use these Omega creatures in. And there are only three so far, but that's that's okay. 
You know what I mean? That's okay. I'm I'm all right with that. But what but what I will be interested in is if is the hybrid aspect because there are there were definitely some um tournaments out there where you couldn't use Rexy, you couldn't use Panthera Byloth or whatever. You couldn't use Parasaurolophus Lux because they were non-hybrid legendaries and or uniques or whatever. So, um, I am interested to see how that, that happens. Oh, look, see, for example, in comment, tournaments allow better, 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 I don't know, whatever. But, first off, guys, <laughs> Toro is finally in the game. He's a highly aggressive Carnotaurus, identical to the other members of his species, except for that stunted right horn and the scar on his snout. He is a wild card survivor, so... Brand new moves. Dece Decelerating Cleanse. Angry Endurance. Horn Devour. Ooh. Ooh. Unlock that creature level six. Swap in Endurance. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Thrashing Impact and Run. Whoa. Then the minor heal encounter, which is unlocked at level 21. So he's hit, hitting you and healing, which is, I think, probably a first one, a first in this game. Which is awesome. Next up, we have, I have no idea what the fuck this thing is. Stegoros. Stegoros. Okay, I guess. Um. I need, and let me fill up the water really quick. I need non-stick spray too, because I've been one fuck it, I've been craving biscuits for the past couple of nights, and I haven't been able to make them because I don't have no goddamn spray. Hold on, guys. Fuck off, Facebook. So, this distinctive ankylosaur first. Discovered in Chile is remarkable both for its small size and flat shape of osteoderms on its tail. Very interesting. Hey, Bella Bella. Stegoros is a wild card jack of all trades. Interesting. All right, so we have protective advance, which is nice. Okay. Dispersed fierce impact, which is a first that you are seeing in an ankylosaur. We have, there, we have, I don't think we've ever had an ankylosaur with armor, well, no, we're not with armor piercing, with defense shattering capabilities, ever. Yeah, but that's awesome. A distracting counter. Ooh, swapping nullification, <laughs> holy shit. Embolden, stunning vulnerability impact as well. All right. You know what? I'm liking all these moves. These are some nice sounding moves. So, hold on, guys. Let me just turn the water off. Um, then, hold on. Let me just turn my rice over. To do okay, yeah, everything's about good and brown. All right, oh, that does smell pretty good. And now, Diablo Ceratops, which honestly, if I'm not mistaken, is the first time it is ever in anything Jurassic related, which is very interesting. What, what I know Diablo Ceratops from, and a lot, of, a lot of you would know it too, is from the aisle 
which is, like I said, this is very interesting. Man. That one, really? Really? Let me freaking drop the damn paper thing in here. So, named for its dual spikes emerging from the top of its crest, Diaboceratops means horned face, devil horned face. This ceratopsid is closely related to Nozuto ceratops. Don't know why anybody gave a shit about that fact, but okay. Bella, please stop. But I said stop. Man, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I freaking, I worked my ass off today. I was... I, w I was on I was on one today. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was fucking on one today. All right. Let me read the rest of these damn damn patch notes. All right. So it is resilient stunner. Okay. So Diablo Ceratops is probably gonna be the most uh, of of the three. So it has resilient strike and greater stunning impact, which is its default moves, I guess. Swap and stunning strike, Ceratopsian, so okay. Leading charge, ooh, it looks like a move that puts on shield and speeds you up, nice. Survival instinct, armor, nice. And instant crush, ooh. So, let's check out the new ability, shall we? We got protective advance, which targets the fastest opponent, attacks one. Self increases shields 50% and armor 15. All right. We got Embolden, which is, I think, the Stegosaurus thingy. Because I'm quite sure that's not. I'm quite sure that's not. Um, what's the face? So it'll. It's this is a team. It's a team move. Good. So it cleanses, increases speed and damage and armor. Sc increases speed, damage, armor. Critical chance and shields 25%. Holy shit. Ooh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm interested to see how this thing does in raids. Ooh. And then heals 25% of max HP. My, and mind you guys, this is team. So, whoo. This thing, this thing will do pretty freaking nice in raids. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm actually really fucking excited to see that. So wait, who does that go with? I think that's the Stegosaurus that goes with. Yeah, that's the Ste that's Stegosaurus that goes with. Ooh, I'm, in I'm interested to see how that thing does in raids. Bella darling, get down please. Daddy's cooking. I do not need you all up in my fucking face while I'm cooking. If you make me you make me fuck this meal up, oh I'll beat your ass. Alright, so we got stunning vulnerability impact, which is literally exactly what it is. 100 percent chance to stun. Ooh. So self, it gives you a oh Target's fastest opponent. Vulnerable. Whoa. And it gives you a chance to dodge. With also an automatic swap. <laughs> swap and cloak. We're going to get to that. Group definite strike. We're going to get to that as well. Leading charge. All right. So this thing is boiling. All right. All right. Good baby, go ahead. Ooh. All right, we got leading charge, which targets the high uh, target, highest speed. Blah 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 blah. Okay, there we go. We got a first group move besides that move, but we're gonna talk about that in a minute. So targets all opponents. Vulnerable. All right. 
And who, uh, that, and that instant crush, that, that has to be Toro, right? No, it's not Toro. Oh. That's Diablo Ceratops then. Ooh. So we'll have a Ceratops thing that's good against Flops. Nice. Well, let's, let's, let's not because we don't know what their resistances are going to be yet. I'm not going to lie to you. Diablo Ceratops probably won't have anything, anything to do with, um, what do you call it? Any resistances to do with, um, what do you call it, distraction? I imagine he'll probably, he might be immune to stun. I don't know. Survival Instinct, which is self HP over. Baby, give me a minute, please. Thank you. Hi, Bella. Bella, daddy's recording. I don't, no, no, no. That kiss is right now. Please, please don't. Stop. So Toro, with his little selfish ass, increases armor, attacks for two attacks, two turns, dodge. Ooh, wow. These things are going to be interesting, guys. I'm not going to lie. These things are going to be interesting. Horn Devour, which is targeted to attack two, bypassing armor and dodge. Okay. Not shields, though, unfortunately. Heals 0.5 direct damage dealt over four turns. Something I'm a little concerned about, guys. I don't think I've seen Toro have a counterattack. He probably does. Oh, my, oh, it's not a rending counter. Well, actually, let, let's be honest. Mm, I don't know about a minor healing counter, bro. That's kind of, kind of naff. Does it at least do a bit of damage or something? Or is it just healing? So if it's not doing any damage, then. Surviving damage target self. Heal 5% of max HP. Yeah, it's not even doing any damage. Aww. It's not, then he's not a Carnotaur. What the fuck? All right, whatever. But here's the part where I'm a, I'm hyped, but you know, I'm not too hyped because I don't really use the thing. And if it was the other version, then whew, whew. But um, so random, 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 really, really random. Indominus Rex Gen 2, guys, is getting a buff. A swap in cloak has been added, which is going to make the um, tournaments so. Give me my sock. Give me my sock. Give me my fucking sock, bitch. You got my fucking camp over. I knew you did. So, got a swap in cloak. It has a fierce rampage, which is awesome. Thank the Lord. I might even, shit, I might use Indominus Rex Gen 2. Don't, mm, I don't know. That swap in cloak, guys. Woo. Especially if you're, mm, man, let me tell you something. That's pretty good. Not going to lie, that is pretty freaking good. And definite strike becomes a group definite strike, which means now one of the Indominuses aren't so freaking feeble when it comes to Fox, which is awesome. Oh my God, that is awesome. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. For anybody who has Indominus Rex Gen 2 maxed out, shit, people might start using them now because this this does this does make them usable. Definitely does make him usable because of this swap in cloak. He has a fierce rampage, which means that um fuck 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 geminidus is shield fuck stegodus is shield fuck freaking what do you call our dentist maxima shields gunasaurus is shield all them shields fuck him pretty much because now he can actually destroy sh shields with both both of his attacks which is great draco ventator is now immune to what do you call it damage whatever which Let's be honest, I think he should have been from jump. Don't I don't really care because I'm not gonna use him. But you know, whatever, I guess. Um, one more thing I do want to talk about is is um what do you call it? The lineup for this week's events. Because I, I did have a good look at them and they're pretty freaking baller. I'm not gonna lie. 
You better be chewing on that tire, girl. Good girl. That's what I'm talking about. You better be chewing on that tire. Nothing but that damn tire. Not my fucking socks, you little shit. So I got my Sarah Magnus this morning. If Alacranix is still right there, then I will attempt to um, do him tonight. He is awesome. Okay. So I will, I will, I will um, attempt to do an Alacranix tonight. Because I, I have no DNA for that thing. I have like, I think maybe 80 DNA for it. Yeah, 85 DNA. Yeah, so, yeah, that's 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 not okay. <laughs> it's not okay at all. So we got this, which is Jurassic World. Thanks, login gift. Toast DNA. Thanks. Really fucking wanted that. Um. So what do you call? We have we have the um Isla event, which. I would be I will definitely be doing a video tomorrow on this. We have Cyracosaurus Lux is air in here. This Isla event, I'm not gonna lie, I think I might be able to do. It, it isn't looking too bad, you know. Earl of Dominus, if I put him in first, I think regardless of what comes in first, it'll either one shot it or Whatever comes in first. Oh, mm, actually, I can't even say one shot because, well, Ferocious Cunning Impact does do an insane amount of damage, especially when it gets a crit. So, but the the, bo the in between bosses as well aren't too insane either. We have Arctotus, which has a taxing strike and dispersed decelerating impact. Which, what am I going to use against that? I have no, nothing, conveniently, nothing here heals besides, I think, him. But that's only himself. Yeah, so. This might be a bit of an issue. Yeah. But across the, all these bridges when we get there. We'll definitely we'll do our best to do a video for that tomorrow. Styracosaurus Lux, I'm not really... I mean, I guess, I guess, cool. It's Styracosaurus, so cool. I definitely do want to get it eventually because that's Styracosaurus, and Styracosaurus is one of um, the coolest cer ceratopsians, in my opinion. But, um... Oh, yes, I didn't collect these. That's, some, that's something I want to do. So, let's go ahead and collect this one. Miragaya, fossil whatever the hell. Argent Archaeopteryx, which is strange. Tenothosaurus, I'll definitely take it. And who's the epic? Ew. Fucking ill. Alright, what's what we got in this? Hagzagopteryx, Stiggy Moloch. Ooh, is Stiggy Moloch the big one? I think he might be. Yeah. Alright. So that's good. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. So now um, we can do something with um freaking what's the name Gemma the Dust I think is, is no and Kyle's Lux I mean and Kyle's Lux. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Check out this week's events. So we got a li a live scent strike. Oh, that's what that is. Where is it? A live scent Ooh. I wonder what's in this scent. Okay. Did that... <sighs> Fucking ass. Whatever. All right. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. I wanted to show you guys. I did this entire Thera podcast without spending a single dollar. Besides, you know, to unlock the other side. So I am so proud of myself. Just give me the fucking panda emote. I don't give a shit about that damn thing. So let's collect up all the DNA. Is that a Rexy set? Oh my god, it's a Rexy set! Yay! I didn't even know there was a freaking Rexy set in here. Thank God. Thank God they're giving a... There was, they, they were going through... A, I don't know what the hell Ludia was going through, but they were just going through a whole time where they were just giving us a lot of freaking raptor scents, and it was annoying. So we have the hawk skin 
for the Ovi Raptor that we will never see on this channel because I don't fucking use that thing. Not even in tournaments, so. We got more Ceratosaurus DNA and even more Ceratosaurus DNA. Awesome. Awesome. Really, really awesome. All right, so let's get back to the events, actually. Because there is something I do want to talk about. Um, so, all right, so on Friday and Saturday, we will be getting a chance at Giganotosaurus, Panthera, and Bezel Bufo. Now, normally I would say I will, I'm going to go for Bezel Bufo, honestly, because he's, he's a brand new. He's a flock. He is 3.1. He might get a hybrid and... A Bezel Bufo hybrid will be very dangerous. So, well, like I said, all depending on what the hell he's fused with, but. Bezel Bufo, a Bezel Bufo hybrid, oh, excuse me, will potentially be pretty dangerous. But I I might go for gig, all Giganotosaurus because I do want to max out my um, Giganix. So we have le Legendary and Uniques to do to um dart on sunday the legendaries being the panther bio uh, why do i keep trying to say that the fucking snow leopard pyrosuchus rexy and spinoceratops now i shouldn't have to tell you guys who to go for you should obviously be going for rexy rexy in my in my opinion well being that the other three I, well other two haven't been on the map because i think panthera might have been on the map once Rexy is the easiest to dart for me. So I will be going for two Rexies. I might go for Pyrosuchus if I see it more. I don't know. The Spinoceratops, you can literally make that with Spinosaurus and Sinoceratops. So if, and if you haven't unlocked Spinoceratops by now and you've been playing the game for more than two years, you have a problem. So that's that. And for the unique Styracosaurus, Lux, and Tyrannometron. So... Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. You have to be fucking retarded if you think I'm going to waste a freaking dart on Styracosaurus Lux. Let me explain why. Ceratopsians are annoying to freaking dart. So I'd much rather take my chances with Tyrannometrodon, being that it's on my team, and it's Tyrannometrodon. Like, come on. Now, for the rares, we have... Argentavis, Megalonyx, Pyraptor Gen 2, and Albertosaurus. Now, you have 24 attempts, so if if I was to tell you guys to do anything, I would say split it evenly between Albertosaurus and Pyraptor Gen 2. Being that Albertosaurus does Albertospinus and um, Albertosevia, one of those which are extremely an extremely good unique that you could definitely want on your team. And Pyraptor Gen 2... Um, has Pyrosuchus, which makes into Pyrixes, which is another really good unique. Argentavis and Megalonyx. Eh. I mean, Meg don't get me wrong. Megalotops is a very good um epic hybrid, and Arg and Argent Argentirix, I think it's called, is also another annoying ass epic hybrid. But being that the other two have uniques, I definitely do recommend. Starting the uniques. Excuse me. Since you got three, you got you got um we have one, two, three, another pan another panda boss. Guys, I'm telling you something. What, what I don't know why they're doesn't nobody give a fuck about that damn panda. So I don't know why they're overloading us with panda DNA. I swear, I think they're going to give them a really crazy hybrid or something because they're bulking us up with DNA. What if they just, like, throw a fucking Apex at us with that fucking panda or something? I'll be pissed off. But, um, here we go. We have the Hawk skin. Well, let's look at it. That looks a lot more like an Oviraptor. I really... Okay, I actually really like that. I really, really like that. Oh, my God. That is beautiful. Holy shit. That skin is gorgeous. All right. So we only have three skins left to get. Conveniently, all of those were locked behind a paywall. So I'm cool.
what was my favorite skin out of all of these? I'd have to say, honestly, I'd say Giganix, bro. I love Giganix's skin. Don't get me wrong. I like this one, but this one is just, it's the blue eyes and everything. Stop chewing on the damn cage, Joel. What is wrong with you? You damn self, you punk. But yeah. I like this one too. This one is really, really nice. Looks like a little parrot. Looks like a parakeet. Man. Oh shit. I didn't even realize I didn't have audio on this entire game time. <laughs> I will say though, Fuku Mami is a oh, pain in the ass. He's a pain in the ass. I like this skin a lot too because I like how his breath turns purple. I like how everything coming, like the little the little things that come off of him and everything, it, it's purple in battle. It's so freaking cool. I don't even know how many boosts I really have. But hell. <sighs> Uh, two new emotes is just panda emotes. Yeah, that's, I think that'll have to um, wrap it up for this video, guys. Yeah, that's gonna have to wrap it up for this video. Guys, thank you all for tuning in. I really do hope you guys enjoyed um, this video discussing everything. Make sure you guys go out, get your Rexies, get your Tyrannometrodon. Those two are extremely good things to have on your team. And you will kick yourself if you have, if you take something. Stop it! You will kick yourself if you don't put something like Rexy on, on your team. Because Rexy, she, she's got me out of so much. So I love you all, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.